Hi there, I hope everything is good with you. Welcome to Theme Winter. In today's video, we will explore the front end event submission feature at Eventin. Before diving into the tutorial, let's look at the advantages of the feature. You can allow your own team members to create their event. Your team member can check the individual attendee, they can manage the ticket of their event, they also have option to use a front end ticket scanner and much more. Here's an important note for you. As per the user's demand, we added a front end event submission feature face on at event in. The feature allow your own organization's people like team member, friends and family to create and manage events. You need to create a user's account to allow them to create events. However, Front-end event submission is not a multi-vendor solution by any means. If you want to use multi-vendor functionality such as allowing anyone to register and submit events, then you can use Dokkan multi-vendor plugin. In our first phase of development, we added mandatory feature, but it's not the end of the action. Our developers are working and you will get more updates soon. Now the tutorial part. I assume you already have Eventin and Eventin Pro installed in your WordPress site. To be more clear, front-end event submission is a premium feature and you must install Eventin Pro on your website to get the features in your admin panel. From the admin panel, add a new user whom you want to allow submitting event on your website. Here at this moment, Users with the role of author, editor and administrator can submit event. So set the role carefully. You need to generate and add a short code to show the front-end event submission option to the front-end of the page. Here from the event in short code, scroll down and you need to find out event frontend dashboard. Click on the generate short code. Again, click on generate. Copy the short code. After that, paste this short code to a new page and publish the page. Here's what it will look like for the authorized users. Before the next part, please be aware that as an admin, you have the full access to this front end and back end. In the next part, I am going to log in as a new user and show you how the working flow of these features. Here we are. As a user, we have limited access to the admin panel. Now we can use event option from here or we can use front end event submission option. Let's start by submitting a new event from here. Now you need to click on add new event, after that fill up all the necessary information here. Once you are happy with the submitted information, click on the next button and it will drive you to the new page. Here you need to submit the other event related information like venue, time zone, start and end time. Here's an important part, ticket details. You need to submit the ticket details information from here. Once you are happy with all the information, you can submit the event or you can get back to the previous page by clicking on this button and submitting the event. Once the event has been created successfully, it will show you this pop-up event created. Now from this step, you can create another event and you can get back to the event list. So I'm clicking here. Here's the event. Now you can take all the necessary action like you can edit this event, you can check the preview, you can check the attendee list. Let's explore the preview option. Here is what the event is looks like at this moment. 
Now let's check the attendee. At this moment, there is no attendee in this event. I am going to add some attendee to show you how the attendee management works. In order to check the latest attendee, you can use this refresh button. I am clicking here. So here are the attendees of this event. Now under the attendee management, you can change the ticket status, you can edit the attendee details, you can delete as well. So if you want to update the ticket status from unused to use, you can add here. You can change the payment status, you can change the attendee name as well. So update the details. Here is one more option for the attendee management, ticket scanner. If you click here, it will drive you to the ticket scanning page. For the successful scan, you will see successfully checked in option. If you try to scan the ticket again, then you will see ticket is already used this message. If you try to scan something else, if you try to scan the other QR code, then you will get this message, something went wrong, please try again. Eventin is a fully responsive and mobile friendly plugin. Its QR code scanner part can be used from the front end so you don't need to use WordPress admin panel or any extra app to use QR code scanning option. Let's see how it works on mobile phone. Moving to the next part, the event you are submitting from the front end and the other users submitted from their panel, all the events are available in the main admin panels. So I am going to log in to the admin panel again and going to show you how all the events are available on the admin panel. So here from the event in events. Now all the events are available here, we just submitted this event and this is another event submitted by maybe another users. This is how the front end event submission works and that's all about the video, we are updating more. So don't forget to check and update the latest version of the plugin. Feel free to ask us question if needed. Thank you.